Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Uli. If it's your first time here, then welcome. And if it's not, then welcome back. So I'm gonna to talk today about quite a serious topic. So I'm gonna to talk to you about the healer crisis. So if you're going through the healing crisis right now, and that's why you've clicked on this video, then I'm very sorry because it really sucks. And trust me, I've been there, I know. So I'm gonna tell you guys today about what it is, why it happens, my experience with it, what you can do about it. So before I begin this video, usual disclaimer, I'm not a scientist. I haven't done any experiments in any labs. I am, like I've said before, I'm a sort of semi-scientist, as in I've done a science degree, and I know sort of basic anatomy and basic biochemistry and physiology and these kind of things. So those are my only credentials. If they even count, they don't. So everything I'm gonna tell you is obviously from my own experience. It's anecdotal. I remember that anecdote is not evidence, but I'm gonna tell you mine anyway. So healing crisis, what is it? So the healing crisis is something that happens to people, most people I'd say, especially if you're healing from eczema and especially if you've been on steroids, is that your skin gets so much worse before it gets better. So much worse. I cannot even describe, it gets so, so, so bad. So why does it do that? Why does it happen? Well, we need to have a little think about what eczema is. Eczema is an inappropriate inflammatory response in your skin to something or nothing. We don't really know. But it's basically, it's having an inflammatory response to something it shouldn't be having an inflammatory response to. So the way an inflammatory response works, it's a very complicated, complex reaction within your skin. And there's a whole host and a whole chain of different bi biochemicals that are involved. That's why we get prescribed with steroids. And steroids work by essentially blocking this chain of events that leads to this inflammatory response, which is your eczema. But what steroids don't do is that they don't do anything about this as to why you have an inflammatory response in the first place, like why is it triggered? What it does, it just stops this, and that's why obviously you can use steroids for as long as you like, but eventually as soon as you stop using them, your skin, it will come back because this cause hasn't been sorted out yet. But that's what we're trying to do. That's what you're trying to do. So why does your skin get so much worse when you start eating healthily? Like surely it's supposed to start getting better straight away. No, that's not quite how it works. And I think there might be two elements to it. So imagine this chain reaction is like a, a river, a flow of water it's flowing towards the eczema. You put this steroid down, you put the steroid in, that's a dam. And what happens? Yes, the water builds up. Okay, fine, you're free of eczema for a while. And then what happens when you take it off? It comes flooding back out again. So that's the first sort of element to it. Secondly, the fact that you, by switching your diet, you're probably eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. And the thing is about fruits and vegetables, they have a lot of enzymes. And that's what makes them super healthy. So that's all good. But a lot of people, and especially people with allergies, they're allergic to these enzymes for some reason. They have, again, allergy is an inappropriate inflammatory response to something that should be good for you. So if you're eating loads and loads of different types of these, that you maybe you don't really eat them very much normally, and on top of the fact that all these benefits that they have haven't really, you know, you have you've only just started it, haven't they haven't had time to sort of lay the foundation of all the benefits that they're going to have later down the line. So your immune system is just on overload. So this is why it basically gets so, so, so much worse. But the good news is it's temporary. It's absolutely temporary. I've been through it. I've went through it in a big way and I'm gonna tell you about it right now. So basically what happened with me is that I went vegan, went plant-based and you know, at first I was super motivated and I was really enthusiastic and it was all going great. And then I got to day four and seriously, it all went down. It literally, my I started getting eczema in places that I had never had eczema before and my skin was just freaking out. It was so red, it was so painful, it was so itchy. I thought it would never stop. I thought, you know, at first it felt like every single day it was just getting worse and worse and worse and I was like, oh my God, like what is going on? I got through it and thank God because it's, it's a bad time guys, it's really bad. So what can we do to make this time just that little, little bit easier and a little bit less intense? So a couple of tips. 
Firstly, obviously, drink lots and lots of water. Number one tip for anything. We're 60-70% of water and we have, with eczema, you have a dry skin condition, you need lots of hydration. Secondly, I would say stick to quite plain foods. Quite boring, I know. I had lots of things like steamed broccoli and sweet potato and maybe a couple of chickpeas and sort of basically just stuck to that as much as I could. Stay plant-based and all this kind of stuff, but maybe stick to things that you know don't have such a strong reaction in your body. So number three, for me, I it, I had to avoid raw food at this time. I just, it made, a, with the exception of a few quite mild fruits, so maybe I'd have like some banana and other, I would even sort of avoid raw vegetables. I, I definitely didn't have anything acidic, no citrus fruits, no tomatoes, anything like that. Again, yes, these are all very good for you, but I think just for now, just sort of, like we said, keep it mild, keep it plain. You're going, your body's going through an intense time. So let's just sort of, you know, not add to that and make it any more, um, any more dramatic than it needs to be. Having said this though, some people have actually found that eating basically only raw foods has made it much better for them. Um, if you find that actually raw foods make it better for you, then by all means, and definitely eat raw foods. You have to be very intuitive with your body at this point. Which leads me to my next point. Avoid your allergens. Yes, of course, the whole point of this is that we want to start getting rid of all these allergies in the first place, things that we should be allergic to, but we're not there yet. You know, at first we just need to get over the healing crisis and then we can, you know, start working our way towards a completely allergy and eczema-free life. But so at the moment, don't make it worse. Don't overburden your immune system. Stay away from things that you know you have reactions to. Even if it's healthy and even if it's, you know, a nice fruit or a nice vegetable, you know, just for now, just while you're getting over this hump. So my next step is avoid foods that produce heat. One of the main symptoms of an inflammation is heat, um, next to sort of, you know, the redness, the swelling, the pain, that kind of thing. Heat is a huge symptom of it, so you don't want to add to that, you don't want to make it worse. So avoid things that are spicy, things like chilies, things like cayenne pepper, avoid cinnamon, apparently cinnamon cinnamon produces heat, you can use cardamom instead. Tabasco, don't have Tabasco. No Bloody Marys for you. Next tip is resting, lots of sleep, as much as you can. Um, if you need to avoid exercise at this point, absolutely fine, maybe just go for some walks. Exercising obviously sometimes makes you sweaty and that can make it worse. Don't do that for now if it's terrible, just you know, forget about that for now. Just do lots of walking and moving and stretching and that kind of thing. These these things will help, will also help with your mood. And lots of sleeping, lots of sleep. You need it. Sleep is where your body does most of its healing. And this is the time where all this, you know, you're sort of starting to lay foundations, all the good things that you're taking in and that you're eating and drinking. Um, this is the time that's, I mean, it's gonna sort of start to slowly, slowly have an effect. So lots of sleep if you can, lots of rest. Next tip is take each day as it comes. It's don't wake up, don't analyze your skin. It's, it, I know it's incredibly hard not to and it's incredibly hard not to sort of stare at your skin and think like, is this getting better? Or is this getting worse? Try not to do that. You have to ride it out. You have to just stick with it and trust that it is gonna get better because believe you me, I've been through it. Loads of people have been through it and we've all come out the other end. So you're gonna come out the other end absolutely fine. How long does it take? It's very hard to say. For me, I think it was really bad for about, I'd say about 10 days to two weeks. But it's hard to say exactly when it ended because even after, once your healing, your healing crisis is over, you still have a long way to go. Your skin is far from perfect or even in a good condition. It's just that super intense time when you feel like you can't even move once that sort of worst initial hump is over. And then you can get on to your, your healing journey again. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please leave any comments if you have any questions or if you want to reach out to me privately, you can add me on Instagram and just message me there. I hope that you guys are okay. I know how bad it is, but trust me, trust me, you'll be fine. And just remember, you're not alone. Other people are out there, they're going through the same thing and other people have been through it and they've come out the other end and you're gonna do the same. I know it. 
So keep well, guys. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys again very soon.